This exhibition tells the story of two masterpieces of early Netherlandish painting. How they came to be made by the Renaissance masters Jan van Eyck and Petrus Christus, how they were used, viewed, and valued by their patron Jan Vos. The story begins in Bruges in today's Belgium in 1441. The city was then one of the most vibrant commercial centers in Europe. That year, Jan Vos, a monk from an austere monastic order called the Carthusian Order, was elected at the head of the Bruges Charter House, as monasteries from the Carthusian Order were called. Despite the order's taste for sobriety, during his nine years in Bruges, Jan Vos commissioned two outstanding panels from the city's two leading artists. The first one is the Virgin and Child with St. Barbara, St. Elizabeth, and Jan Vos in the Frick collection. It was commissioned from Jan van Eyck shortly before his death and completed by his workshop. The second was the Virgin and Child with St. Barbara and Jan Vos which has been generously lent to us by Berlin's Gemälde Galerie. It was painted by the artist Petrus Christus a few years later and is known as the Exeter Virgin after the name of its first modern owner. The two paintings are reunited in the exhibition for only the second time in their history and the first time as the main focus of the show. Though different in scale, their imagery is closely related, depicting the kneeling Jan Vos introduced to the Virgin by female saints. Both scenes are set in porticos that open onto panoramic cityscapes. Looking closely at these panels, you experience a sense of genuine visual delight. They're full of minute details that offer endless possibilities for exploration and surprises. From the shepherd tending to his flock on a distant hill, to the hustle and bustle of the city docks, the translucent gems that line the virgin's mantle, the embroidered cloth of honor behind her, down to the onlooker with the red turban hidden in the vines behind Jan Vos. At the time, however, images were not created only for their aesthetic appeal, but also to fulfill particular functions. And though they might look similar, the Frick and Exeter Virgins served different purposes and would have commanded different responses from their medieval viewers. Small and portable, the Exeter Virgin was used by Jan Vos as a devotional aid in his cell or on his travels. He could have easily picked it up and held up close during his meditations. Meanwhile, the Frick panel ultimately served a much more public function as Vos's memorial, displayed in the monastery's church after his death in order to invite viewers to pray for his soul. Displayed in an intimate gallery that evokes a monastic cell, the Frick and Exeter virgins are presented in the exhibition along with objects that place them in their rich monastic context. These include an exceptional portrait by Petrus Christus, which depicts yet another monk from the Charter House of Bruges, and which also contains remarkable details. Additionally in the show is a songbook from the monastery's former library, two statuettes depicting kneeling Carthusian monks, a silver point drawing relating to the Exeter version, a rare Carthusian prayer bead, and more. Together, these objects offer a window into the visual environment of the Charter House of Rouge and highlight the role these fabulous images played in shaping monastic life in Renaissance Bruges. <laughs>